everyone, allemaal. So today I'm going to tackle my, well, another collecting problem because I have collected a lot of seeds during these couple of, well, no idea how many years it has been. But we need to do something about it. Let me show you. These are three boxes and Fred and Sammy in the back. But these are three boxes that are not fully loaded with seed, but partially loaded with seed. Like this is my perennial box and maybe with the sunshine, you can see that these are just some empty packets I see, empty and well, here are some. So I need to do something with all of these seeds because otherwise they will just go bad. These are my perennials. Ooh. These are my annuals. Also a lot of them, a lot of, these are all sunflowers. Um, and I have no idea what this is, but we will, oh, excuse me, work it out. And let's see, this is vegetable gardening. So I have some pumpkins, some melons. Well, apparently I have herbs and perennials. But I know these seeds particularly are the oldest probably, but I'm not sure. So I've already gathered all my stuff. Ta -da. And I was thinking, since a lot of the seeds are probably, well, old and won't have a lot of germination or a high germination rate, I thought I would just fill up these P9 pots, so nine centimeters across, and just put them in these two. Oh, two in a row, or I will just put them in these bigger bins or just in the shallow trays here. That would also mean two across, I think, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't expect a high germination, and if I do, I can just always split them. That's fine, but this will be the fastest method for me, but also I would say the most effective, not so time consuming method. And I will have to sort it out, but I could also just do some of the seeds in this tray. So the supplies I have are, well, I would say pretty clear, but I don't think we need to make things more difficult than they are, but I just have some big trays. Well, this is just a big tray that my boyfriend uses for something, So, but it has been cleaned. These are the classical seed trays combination. So for water, reservoir, well, and here you can put the soil in or pots, humidity domes, these are Two more bases. I have, in this case, also some P9 pots. This is two bags of 20 liters of seed starting mix that I hope will be enough. And if not, we have some other soil in reserve. This is the box bin, however you want to call it, that will be mixing my seed mix in uh, to pre-moisten it also. I have some tags pencil and a pen to write on those tags and my seeds and helper number one. Yeah, because yeah. I think they will be quite curious with all the new smells and scents and everything that I'm doing. And the other one is having, well, he's over there, there having, well, a snack, mid-afternoon snack. 
what I want to do first is just take all the seeds out and just put them into pots and see, well, how many pots I need, if I grabbed enough, I hope so, and how I'm going to divide it all. So I have a clear perspective on the job ahead of me. I don't know. This just feels like a good first step to me. So unpacking all the seeds and then organizing them and seeing and maybe I think something is really old and I could just toss it right away or think I'll give it a try or maybe I don't know it just just feels right sorting it into pots and seeing if I've gathered enough of everything <laughs> Everything is sorted and placed, so I have one tray full of, well, I'd say this is mostly perennial plants. This is vegetable garden related, sunflowers. I have some calendula that I'm just going to broadcast. Same goes for the sunflowers here in, the, in these two trays. These are all the veggies I'm going to do. These are all big plants in the sense of I'm not doing spinach or uh, what is it? Carrots. Um, yeah, but I have some well, yellow dragon fruit, for example, uh, goji berries, um, some herb. Uh, this is lemon basil a watermelon sugar baby, artichokes and two, and, and two empty pots. Just to, well, maybe I need to spread something out. I don't know. But if this all comes up, we're going to have a good season ahead of us <laughs> in terms of well, I'd say mostly squashes and fruit, but we'll see. This is mostly, like I said, perennial flowers or plants, thus flowers. I have a little, like a little section left here in this tray. This is a collection of seed I'm just going to toss because I don't like them and like for example, lupins, although I love the look of them, they just don't do well in my garden. So I will also ask around if someone wants the seeds, but otherwise they're going to go. And this is a collection of seeds that I say, that I do want to save, but I just don't want to sow them in seed trays. I think they will do much better just broadcast it out somewhere. I have no idea where, but I will secretly find a spot. But this is like uh, anterium, so the, um, no idea. This is Arcalae uh, Columbine. No idea what this common name is. This is a pink poppy that I saved from the garden. More poppies. Um, Nasturtium is this. Uh, Malva, no. 
Hollyhocks, is this in English? I don't know. A, a, a wide array of annuals, biannuals. So the next step is, well, these are not enough. This is not enough tag, so I'll have to find something else. Yeah. This is going to take a lot of time and a lot of care, but if it works in the end, it'll be worth it. So let's see if we have some more tags somewhere. Just a warning, the laundry is out because this is my home, real life. Let's see. The collection of pots Ooh, is here, but I also have. Ooh. These tags. I could use those. Especially the ones that have nothing written on one side. I can just use those. Ha. So. I will sift through and find a lot of these because these are handy, especially for the big pots. I'll use these, I think, for everything. Yeah, good find. Everything has a tag. Next step for me is just writing all the tags with a, what is this? This thing, a permanent marker. Filling pots, putting in seeds. Yeah. It's going to take a while. But step by step, I can do this. And you can also do it if you're feeling overwhelmed with all the amount of seeds that you still have or don't have or... I don't know, maybe you feel overwhelmed with something else, but approach it step by step. And that to me always makes the difference. Someone is playing underneath my feet and the other one is like, yep, going. So yeah, writing tags. <laughs> All the tags are written, so next up is just mixing up the soil, adding it to the pots, and then adding seeds in. But I think I will do it one tray at a time just to keep it a little bit contained and make me feel like I'm getting somewhere making progress that's a nice feeling I think so one tray at a time A lot more to go.
And I'm just pre-moistening the soil, maybe not fully saturated, but just to, to give it a little bit of water to help it along. And it's also nice to clean the dirt. noticed when looking at all the videos that I did not film an outro but here are the well for now this is the end result 
I even added, because I found some extra seeds. These are some dahlia seeds that I saved. Well, not last year, but the year before. So I would say two, one and a half to two years old. So we'll see. I just tried to bury them, but the thing that you see on the surface is not the seed itself, but the, well, I would say maybe a flower petal or anyways, I think since that is light, seed is light, it helps to transportation, but that's just a thought. But here are, is everything else. And the bigger bins are here on the floor since I don't want them sitting in the windowsill when they do not have uh, a protection dome. So this way, at least I hope the humidity and the, the moisture level in the soil will stay a bit higher than when putting them up on the windowsill. But yeah, now we patiently wait and the big pile of tags is like, well, big. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I will wait patiently, give you updates and we shall see. <laughs> I hope you also get to do something garden related today. Bye everyone. Dag allemaal.